So I'm recording this episode straight out from uh, Exiting and Vipassana Retreat. Um, really, I'm doing it for me to be able to document it and also for you to be able to share my experience. So first of all, what is a Vipassana Retreat? It's a 10-day silent retreat. Yeah, yeah, you heard me well. 10 days, no talking. There's no talking, there's no reading, there's no writing, there's nothing. It's a moment to be with yourself. So basically, the, how the days are run are you wake up at 4 a.m., the, the gong goes at 4 a.m., and then from 4.30 to 6.30 a.m., we have a meditation. 6.30, you have a very humble breakfast. Uh, if you've ever been in Ashram, like me, it's my ter- third time around in an Ashram, not in this one, but in different ones. Um, it's very, very humbling food. Uh, very good, very humbling. Then we start back from 8 a.m. till 11. Again, meditation. 11, we have a small light lunch. And then we have a break. And then we start back again from 1 to 5 another meditation now these meditation you can switch them between some you have to do in the meditation room or you can do with the meditation room with everyone else and others you can actually go in your quarter in your room and meditate by yourself so i really made a made it medit- uh, a mix between the both then at five it's tea time so it's a tea and a fruit and then rest take a shower at some point uh, then from six to nine we go back again, which is a mix of meditation and uh, teaching. So they're all the, the Buddha teachings uh, about life. They're all universal laws, right? It's nothing um, that we don't already know, but it's mostly things that we actually forgot. So why did I, did, why did I do that retreat? For me, you see, I don't know if you can hear, but somebody is leaving now. People are starting to leave. Um, for me, it was a moment. I've, first of all, I've been wanting to do this for 10 years. For 10 years. But there was always something, right? There's clients. There's kids. There's the business. There's this. There's whatever fill in the blank in terms of excuse. I put it, I put it in before. And this time, I said, no way. I am going. So I've missed out. Actually, I, I've declined opportunities, great meetings, um, things broke in my business before I, before I left, things like really, it was like life testing me. Like, so we lost a connection there. All right. So things broke before, before, um, before I left in my business, it was really like a test to see, do you really want to go? And for me, it was uh, this need, this quest to go back inside. I've, what emerged out of that for me was things that are important to me that I forgot. You know, life goes fast, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of, you know, things that we need to do, we should do, and whatever, and we put things, we put other things on our plate. And this year I said, you know what, hmm, I'm going. So, obviously, these, what emerges out of that will influence my business, will influence my life will influence the programs that I run deeply. Because these are things that are important. There's, they're knowings that we have, but we forget that we have. And if some of you are saying, I couldn't do like a 10 day of silent retreat, it's not a question of capability. Everyone can do it. It's a question of desire. I've been wanting to do this for 10 years. Now this allowed me, gave me the headspace to go back deep and say, okay, what do I want my life to be about? What do I want my legacy to be about? What do I want to make? What's the difference I want to make in the world? So it's definitely going to influence what I do, how I do it, the different coaching programs that I have. It's definitely going to influence the workshop that I have in January. That's all about the mindset. Because we all know that's where it happens, right? It's in the mind, where we set our mind. So this is an invitation. You don't need to do a 10-day retreat. I've done many weekends or a few days or even just going to a yoga or meditation class. Just give yourself the gift of of taking the time for you to go back inside of you and see what's important for me. What do I want my life to be around about? And what do I want my legacy to be about? 
And once we gain clarity on that, we see that, man. And if there's something that I truly realized this week is so much more is possible.